right here. So we've got a call out on the line. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hello. My name is Robin. I'm from London. How are you? Robin from London, thank you for calling into Sports and Love World. So we've been talking about Chelsea. I think it's all about Chelsea. Uh, we will have the the the. Uh, I like to have the um, the league table as it stands. Uh, the 18 points. Uh, what do you think? Oh, it's marvelous! And first of all, congratulations to all the players because they've been playing absolutely wonderfully. And, and I also agree that they could go on and continue on to victorian victory. Rather, my point is. I, I actually have a, a, a person who I know that works for someone who actually works for someone who works for Chelsea, so a sort okay. of two-away connection. And there's been a talk within Chelsea and some of the, the, the teams that they're forming a new form of football called Super Bowl. Wow. Do you know about this? this and they've already pumped about fifteen million pounds into it. Do you know about it? And what's your what's your point? Uh, feelings about Super Bowl? Hello. Hello. So. What's your feelings regarding the new form of football that they're playing, Chelsea, which, which is termed Super Bowl? Well, I think, I, think, I think they are trying to bring up kids. I mean, they're trying to, uh, they're trying to uh, develop talents, uh, yes, looking yes. words. And yes. uh, that's, what, that's what they're trying to do. And mind you, remember, um, there's a rule now that says that there's homegrown players. Uh, we should have at least yeah, eight homegrown eight, eight, eight players. Eight players and, yeah. I think that's going to be a bit of a worry. And I think uh, a lot of clubs are now looking at the academy more closely. And, uh, that, and I think that's what Chelsea is no, trying yes. to do. And that is wonderful, but I actually mean a new form of football game they're playing. The one where there is, it's a two, it's a two first halves and you have a second half and then you have a longer third half and sometimes they're allowed to bring on additional players up to 15 oh, okay. and they're allowed two okay. goalkeepers in, revol in, in revolving like a revolving door which is fitted into the front of the goal and there's two balls that can be thrown on but must be moved off and the crowd can face the game but then they have to turn away sort of out of shame if, if the player misses or the defender falls over and that's Super Bowl. What do you think? Do you think that will be actually... A viable game for Chelsea? Oh, okay. I don't uh, think so, but I mean, let, let, me, let me have. I, I saw I got you wrong there. I thought you were talking about something else, but no, let me no. have my I, 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 I think it's it's going to be a viable, uh, formidable pattern for Chelsea to play throughout the season. Yes. Mm. But, but do you think, what about the whole revolving door that they'll be sitting in front of a goal? How would that work? No, but if you look at the diamond um, pattern of the midfield that Asilito is playing, he, he demands the players to sit in front of the goal most of the time because they need to still give coverage to, to the defence. But a metal door with glass, what do they mean? Do they mean it metaphorically or do they mean an actual door they're going to fit that is revolving? Could that be dangerous? Could the player be trapped in it? No, but in, in, that, in this situation, it demands um, an equal number of effort from all of the players. You need to give 100% from the defence to the attack. That's why it's called the diamond... Uh, pattern of a midfield play where everybody, when you're attacking, everybody attacks, when you're defending, everybody defends. Of course, but how do you defend if there's an actual metal and part concrete door with hinges, which could be dangerous if you get your fingers trapped in them, put in front of the actual goal? <laughs> anyway, uh, well, but you know what? What's your own take on this? My take is that I'm very confused. I don't know if it's a metaphorical revolving door or an actual door. And if it is, will it be a British company that makes it? Of course, we were famous for British steel, British glassworks. But or will it go to a foreign country and our money will have to be spent abroad? And I just wonder, I, I'm very confused if it's a metaphorical revolving door they talk about in all the papers today, or if it's an actual one. Because if it's a metaphorical one, it's fine. But if it's an actual door, I think it would be quite dangerous. What? Okay, well, thank you very much for thank calling. You very much. And, and you know what? My last question to you do you think Chelsea will win the Premiership? I think Chelsea could definitely win, but I'm worried if they put these doors in, if they use these three halves, staggered halves, with two balls that can go on, and the, uh, the, or the audience rather, the public who are watching, having to turn away in shame, I think that they could either come second or ninth. Second or night. Okay, thank you very much for calling into Sports on Lover. That was. Bye -bye.
exactly very entertaining. I mean, that was something else. Uh, talking about revolving doors. Uh, uh, revolving is. doors and <laughs> throwing two balls and <laughs> trying to get two balls, ball. kids sitting in front of the <laughs> That is wonderful. Oh, well, I mean, any of our viewers that um, have heard about this new rule, I have not heard of it, but I mean, any of our viewers, you, you can definitely uh, give us a call. 0207 511 5830. Remember, you can now send us a text 079. 8570 9870, and we will read out your comments. So, yeah, going back.